St. Peter's Square, the Vatican. In the heart of Rome, the world's smallest state and the headquarters of the Catholic Church. With 45 million Italians going back to the polling stations, its impact on local politics is again in focus. The previous government has failed to impose several social reforms, such as offering rights to unmarried couples, including gays, a consequence of the veto from some Catholics within the left-wing coalition. For this atheist philosopher, who debated with Pope Benedict XVI when he was just a cardinal, this situation is unique to Italy. There is no doubt that most politicians are submitted to the church. This is true for right-wing politicians and center-right politicians. It's almost an inbred connection at that point. But this is also true for center-left politicians, who almost never dare to go against the position of the church. Evidence of the church's mobilizing power. The Family Day last year. One million people in Rome to defend their idea of a family. A man, a woman and children opposed to unmarried couples. At the Osservatore Romano, the Pope's daily newspaper, the accusation of interference from the very conservative Catholic Church is obviously rejected. For the past 50 years, there has been no direct intervention by the Catholic Church in the country's political affairs. However, Catholicism is deeply rooted within the Italian culture so each and every politician has to listen to the people and be sensitive to the beliefs of the electorate with the way people feel. The reversed argument then, that of politicians cynically trying to take advantage of the church's popularity. When Pope Benedict XVI again defined abortion a crime at the start of this electoral campaign, a majority of the political class followed, asking for the debate to be reopened with the right-wing leader Silvio Berlusconi even calling for an international moratorium on abortion. The crisis our society is facing can only be overcome by the implementation of strong principles, strong references that can be shared by the Catholic faith. For the elections, who do you vote for? The last aborted pro-day government has shown a clear political divide in Italy, not so much between right and left, but between Catholic and secular politicians.